Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I'm sharing my Pamper Me routine and every week, once a week, I wash my hair as well as give myself some type of facial and apply a mask. So tonight I'm actually doing an Afro G treatment on my hair. I've been seeing a little bit more shedding than usual. If I'm giving myself an Afro G protein treatment that has to stay on my hair for 30 minutes and I thought this would be a great opportunity to um, try this mask that I requested. So the first thing that I do when I um, on my Pamper Me nights, I clean my face and I'm using my Dior um, Bolero facial wipe just to get off any excess makeup that may have been left on um, in the shower when I was washing my hair. I prepared my face and now I'm about to use my facial steamer. This is my Conair steamer. I have had it forever and I absolutely love it. I use it once a week when I'm, I am um, doing my facial um, my facials to hydrate my skin. But I also use this a lot if I have a cold and put a little bit of Vicks in here and the vapor in, in this um, from this facial it goes up and it just really clears out my sinuses. But for today, we are using it for this facial. And so I am going to um, put my head into the reservoir and kind of steam my face for about five minutes. Now the steaming actually detox detoxifies and opens up your pores and it pulls out all of the toxins in your skin and it is absolutely amazing. I love the way my skin looks and the way it feels after I do this um, steaming facial treatment. And it's also great because um, I'm gonna be applying a mask. Anytime I do any type of mask, I wanna make sure that my pores are open so that I can pull out any of the impurities um, when I take the mask off. So now when my when I'm done with my face with my steaming, I just blot it dry because it's very hydrated right now. And I just blot my skin dry and I begin to um, prepare my skin so that the mask can adhere onto my face. Now I reached out to Spired Spirits because I have heard so much rave and read a lot about the 24 karat gold face mask. And so I reached out to them regarding trying some of their masks out. And one of them was a 24 karat gold face mask. And so they sent me six masks and one that I have the red wine mask, the collagen crystal facial mask, the blue marine algae mask, um, a deep pore detox mask a cucumber mask that's hydrating and detoxifying, and the 24 karat go face mask. This mask is such the rage in like Hollywood and California, and um, I've seen a lot of people talk about it and how, you know, it made their skin feel. And so I was just really curious as to how it worked and, you know, the effects of it and if I would feel the same way. So. It was really, really simple to put on, guys. As you see, it comes in a little tray, and inside the tray, you'll see the um, the liquid. And so you need to retain some of that liquid because at the end of the application, you would apply kind of blot the liquid over your skin. And so that's what I did. I'm just gonna take the mask out of the tray and apply it to my skin. Now, what I was really um, curious about was like the texture of the mask. It feels like a plastic, but it's like a very, it's a heavy type plastic and it was very, very cold. So when I placed it on my face, I was afraid that I, was, I would like tear it, but I did, it was not, I did not tear it, but it was very pliable. So it was easy to apply onto your face. And as you see, it has these slits for your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. So you will easily be able to breathe, you can see, and um, you will be able to talk if you needed to. <clears throat> now, once you apply the mask, 
you need to let it stay on for 30 minutes and I'm gonna I set my clock for 30 minutes and after the 30 minutes you just easily take it off it lifts off so easy no mess um, I, there was no cleanup, like a, a huge cleanup, which I really love. And I did not have to dirty up any towels um, taking the mask off. It was very, very easy. Now, what I can say, when I first put the mask on, it was very, very cold. I like the way it felt on my skin. Also, as the time went by, you would actually feel the mask um, tightening on your skin. And then it was easy to take off. Um, it's recommended that you do it at night before bed and after you apply the mask you just kind of um, blot some of the excess liquid over your skin and that was it. Um, I did feel some, um, some firmness. It did feel like it kind of tightened it up a little bit but all in all I think this would be a great spa treatment it will be a, a great luxury spa treatment if you want to kind of you know pamper yourself and just go all out for um you know just a pamper treatment this will be one that i would do also i think that this would be great for a girl's night if you have like some type of spa party with your girlfriends and they have various types of masks and your friends could choose whichever mask suits their skin um, needs or whatever they're trying to um, achieve with their skin at the time and it would be great for a spa party or it would be great for like party gifts this would be something i wish i would have had last year for my pajama party but guys i i like it i really really do and i am really looking forward to using the other mask i've tried the red wine mask before um not with this but i have tried one before it was actually with a sheet mask and um, I'm really looking forward to see how um, this mask actually compared to the one that I used before. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Pamper Me Night video. I really enjoyed doing this treatment. It was very, very relaxing. You know, sometimes we have to have me time. And this was how I chose to do it this week. And I want to thank the um, spa experience for allowing me to um, review this video as well as share this information with you guys if you're interested in any of these products I'm gonna link the um, information in the description box below and you can look into it yourself like I said it would be great for a girls night or just for a luxury pamper me night at home like I did so guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video but before I go you know what I always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.